Well, good afternoon, and God bless all you kind, wonderful people. Johnny B, back at you. I know, disappointing to many of you, but hopefully a few are glad to see me. Maybe. <laughs> <clears throat> Leonard Sly was born November 5th, 1911 in Cincinnati, Ohio. <clears throat> when he was eight, uh, the family moved out in the country on a farm, and his dad took extra work in town at a factory job because they couldn't make a, he couldn't make a sufficient living on the farm. And, but he would bring presents home to the children. One present he brought Lynn was uh, a horse. And Lynn started learning horsemanship when he was eight years old, eight or nine years old. Uh, Lynn and the family also played music together and would play square dances. Lynn would play the mandolin and sing, call square dances, and yodel. He and his mother both learned to yodel, and that's the way they'd communicate to each other across the farm with different yodels. Uh, <clears throat> Later on, his older sister moved to California, and the family followed him out there at first temporarily, but then permanently. And Lynn continued to pursue music and some radio shows and forming some groups. Fast forward in 1933 with Bob Nolan and Tim Spencer. He formed the Pioneer Trio and uh, they became pretty popular doing radio shows and so forth. And uh, then they added Hugh Farr and they couldn't be the trio anymore so a radio disc jockey changed their name for them because he thought they were too young to be pioneers, he changed their name to the Sons of the Pioneers. And Leonard Sly, Bob Nolan, Tim Spencer, and Hugh Farr were the Sons of the Pioneers. Decca Records had just been formed and Decca signed them. They recorded 32 or three songs in two years, including Bob Nolan's compositions of Tumbling Tumbleweeds and Cool Water. Lynn had also been acting in movies under the name Leonard Sly and was getting some pretty good roles in some Western films, and including some Gene Autry movies. Then in 1938, Gene Autry demanded more money and kind of an opening appeared for another singing cowboy. And many auditioned for it, but uh, Lynn, Lynn Sly won the audition and Republic Pictures was ready to put him into pictures right away, but not under the name Leonard Sly. So that gave him the name Roy Rogers. But while he was still with the Sons of the Pioneers, of course after that the Sons of the Pioneers appeared in many movies backing him up and he continued to sing with them from time to time. <clears throat> this is one of the songs Roy sang lead on with the Sons of the Pioneers, but it's not the same version as in The Three Amigos. This is the original better version. <clears throat> Blue shadows on the trail The shades of night are falling As the wind begins to sigh And the world silhouetted Against the sky Blue shadows on the trail Through the trees and a plaintive wail from the distance comes a drifting on the evening breeze. Move along, blue shadows. Move along Soon the dawn will come And you'll be on your way Until the darkness sheds its veil
on the trail Move along Blue shadows Move along Soon the dawn will come And you'll be on your way Until the darkness Sheds its veil There'll be blue shadows on the trail Shadows on the trail Amen and God bless you.